revealed in upcoming episodes of this program are the contents of a recently unearthed repository classified by the secret government, the Phenomenon Archives. Many of us would like to believe that the achievement of greatness is rewarded, if not monetarily, then certainly through the even eyes of history. In the next 60 minutes, you may be shocked to discover that at least one man whose accomplishments touch each of our lives on a daily basis has been virtually forgotten. At the head of the 20th century, Nikola Tesla, a Serbian immigrant and inventor whose name is nearly forgotten, catapulted our civilization into the new age. The use of alternating current, radio, fluorescent lighting, remote control, and robotics, a total of 700 patents, are all attributable to this one man. On Thursday, January the 7th, 1943, at approximately 10.30 p.m., with the world engulfed in a struggle against the dark forces of the Nazi war machine, Nikola Tesla breathes his last dying alone in a small room at the Hotel New Yorker. Outside, the city is alive with his legacy, glistening with the electricity from Tesla's fully realized vision of a world powered by alternating current. He was incredibly aware of the consequences of his scientific inventions and their impact on the total development of mankind. Tesla is buried in relative obscurity a fallen giant of invention whose discoveries remain the foundation for some of civilization's most important scientific advancements. He is one of the greatest geniuses of the 19th century. Edison was one level of, 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 of science, but Tesla was many levels higher. He was a lonely character, researching independently, outside mainstream science. He must have appeared to the so-called normal world like a complete eccentric. He gave our country a tremendous uh, package of technology uh, applications and wonders, and, and our lives, uh, all our lives are collectively much better because of his work. Why has this great man been so neglected by his fellow scientists and the public? Perhaps the answers lie more in the works never realized by Tesla than in his publicly acknowledged achievements. Legend has it that Nikola Tesla was born at the stroke of midnight in 1856 in the midst of a dazzling electrical storm. As a young man, his greatest aspiration was to harness the power of Niagara Falls. He achieved that dream, and in so doing, popularized alternating current. Now, already a half century after his death, a mystery surrounds Tesla. His contributions, which were great and many, have descended into obscurity. Why? Nikola Tesla was a humanitarian, a US patriot, and yes, an unbridled genius though he has most often been personified as the quintessential mad scientist, perhaps his only real misdeed was being born ahead of his time. Tesla, a Serb, grew up in a small village in Croatia, the son of a strict clergyman and a brilliant inventive mother. With a photographic memory and the ability to learn six languages by the age of 18, Tesla soon assumes his path in life as a gifted inventor. He has an uncanny ability to visualize his inventions, to assemble, test, and disassemble them to exacting dimensions, all in his mind, either while awake or in his dreams. 
From the time he was an early child, Tesla had the capability to visualize something so intensely and so vividly that he simply couldn't tell the difference between that and a real object. In 1884, Nikola Tesla emigrates to the United States. Virtually penniless, he presents himself to Thomas Edison and is hired immediately. Okay, Tesla, consider yourself introduced. But when Tesla describes to Edison his intricate plans for alternating current and a polyphase motor system far more efficient than Edison's direct current system, Edison recognizes Tesla as a potentially dangerous competitor. You know, Edison just didn't want anybody to get ahead of him, even if he had a better system. And this is the way it is uh, when you get uh, aggressive people working. They, they, they will destroy each other. A prize is offered to anyone who can harness and transmit energy from Niagara Falls to Buffalo, New York. Edison does everything in his power to discredit alternating current and Tesla. Alternating current is a danger to human life. Start the generator. <laughs> you have just seen alternating current. In action. Despite Edison's opposition, Tesla's AC polyphase system is adopted. And in May of 1888, George Westinghouse hears about this remarkable inventor and buys the alternating current patents. By 1897, both Tesla and alternating current become a household name throughout the world. He realized completely what would happen with the implementation of alternating current and electrification of the whole planet that it would bring tremendous change in human life, in information in general, even in the mental state of human beings. Despite his new notoriety, Tesla is a pure inventor, a great dreamer, and does not actively pursue the commercial exploitation of his ideas. His many remarkable breakthroughs in high-frequency electricity, including radar, radio, neon, and fluorescent lamps are often attributed to others. For instance, Tesla's invention of shadow graphs, a system for taking X-ray photographs, predates the work of Wilhelm Röntgen. Tesla's fertile imagination enkindles theories for the Internet and television years ahead of their time. Though these visionary leaps are ultimately proven and manifest, Tesla's tendency toward exaggeration and the manner in which he announces his ideas to the press caused the inventor a good deal of public criticism. We must be able to transmit scenes from other places over long distances. Pictures, the news, energy, and why not matter too? Now we must liberate thought. We must set it free of limitations that space and time impose on it and yet keep its principal characteristics now and in future centuries. A flamboyant and mysterious man, always too eager to share his ideas with the world, Tesla demonstrates his laboratory experiments to such friends and luminaries as Mark Twain. The man was uh, socially capable of hobnobbing with the most elite people in the world at the time, Mark Twain. Westinghouse, J.P. Morgan, and from his acquaintances uh, uh, was able to, to finance some of the most spectacular experiments in history. As a publicity stunt, Tesla would sit in his laboratory while massive bolts of electricity danced about him. Without the use of wires, these airborne streamers would freely illuminate the lamps held in Tesla's hand. And Tesla was the first person to really show how to transmit wireless energy through the air to ignite electrical bulbs or electrical tubes. They were fluorescent tubes, which he had in the room. These tubes would respond to different frequencies. So if he produced one frequency, one group of bulbs would light, and if he produced another frequency, another group of bulbs was, would light. In 1898, while perfecting his patents for the invention of wireless radio transmission, Tesla's laboratory mysteriously burns to the ground. This fire destroys thousands of hours of work, setting the inventor back years and costing him personally over a million dollars. Tesla is horrified by the extent of the damage, but his is a resilient spirit. For while the hardware lay in cinders, Tesla's remarkable mental abilities enabled him to begin the process of recreating his work. <laughs>
In 1899, Tesla moves to Colorado Springs to experiment with terrestrial and atmospheric waves. Out on the prairie, he pursues his path.